uh, the great Google TV behind us, the FalconsAHL.com behind us, official link to Facebook, official link to Twitter. Go to FalconsAHL.com as we uh, get into a very busy week here in, in Springfield. And uh, the schedule is something that uh, we're getting very close on as we record this. Uh, when people see this, hopefully it'll be released. But just a, a quick update here on the schedule as we well, uh, film this on Wednesday. Well, we've been work. I've been working uh, almost around the clock. Uh, that thing stays in front of me almost. Uh, even when I leave here and go home, I take it with me. And actually, 11 o'clock last night, I was I was staring at it, trying to make one last change. It's very difficult uh, to make any changes now. Uh, the league has changed some things around. Uh, as you know, we reduced the schedule. There was a mandate by the National Hockey League to eliminate all four games in five nights. And, you know, I understand the reasons why they do it from the physical wear and tear on the players and maybe what kind of performance we're getting out of the players in that fourth game in five nights. But what it's done, it's created another monster of its own as far as I'm concerned, at least in Springfield and some other people I've talked to, in that we're playing an awful lot of three games in three nights. Uh, you have to play the game somewhere. So we have created what I look, it looks to me, it's almost like a college schedule, but you're playing one extra game in the weekend. I know every game, every weekend in March, we're playing Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, the only good thing for us is our Sunday games are either a home game or our travel is not too bad. It's a short trip to Providence or Manchester or, or Worcester or else uh, we're going in the night before we'll play a home game on Saturday and leave. But the schedule is difficult. Uh, there are some teams in our league I know I talked to late yesterday afternoon are not happy with their schedule. I'm very pleased with their schedule. I mean, I think when fans finally hear what our, what our schedule is, they'll be pleased. Uh, we'll be predominantly weekends again. We'll have a little more on Sunday games than we've had in the past. Uh, but we're working on some special, uh, special promotions for those Sundays as well to sort of tie in a, a special food package, a promotion, and a ticket price. So uh, when, it, when, when all is said and done, our schedule will be fine. Part of that is because we have uh, some flexibility with our building, and part of it is because our travel schedule is so good because of our geographic location. But uh, I believe the plan, unless it changes today, is tomorrow at some point uh, there will be a Board of Governors conference call. Tomorrow will be on Thursday, uh, because obviously this is being taped. Uh, tomorrow will be on Thursday. Uh, we'll have a Board of Governors conference call to approve the schedule. Uh, I'm assuming it will get approved, but you never know. There may be some opposition from some teams uh, because I know some teams are still struggling to pick up some home dates they want and to alleviate some travel. Last comment on the schedule is that it is not easy to do. Uh, Lauren Peterson at the HL office, Rod Pasma, the whole gang over there uh, work around the clock when it's time to get this schedule done. And it's a, it's a crazy job and a, thankful jo a thankless job because they're trying to please 30 teams and they can't please 30 teams, it's impossible. Uh, but I think uh, at the end of the day they do a darn good job and I know we'll come away with a schedule that I think our fans will be happy with. Yeah. Damon Markowitz along with Bruce Landon once again another weekly webisode as we come to you this week from Manny's TV and Appliances, 1406 Elm Street in West Springfield, right off Riverdale Road, right off, right across the street from Springfield Country Club. Great spot, great longtime sponsor, appreciate their support as we come to you from the TV room here uh, with the Google TV behind us on FalconsAHL.com. You get a great price on that thing. I've already eyeballing it, and uh, you get great sales incentive to throw in the office. Well, I just picked up, uh, I believe it was a 46-inch TV for the Players' Lounge uh, the other day uh, last year. Tommy Sestito had, had purchased one for the Players' Lounge, and he took it with him uh, when he got traded, so we had to get a TV for the Players' Lounge, so we came to Manny's uh, a few days ago, and Jared took care of me, and we picked up a nice 46-inch TV for the Players' Lounge, and we have the NHL package there, so as you know, they're always watching the NHL games and Columbus games, and... Uh, uh, certainly, we have TV sprinkled throughout our offices and the coaches' offices, and all all of our business is always with Manny's. Yeah, absolutely, great longtime sponsors. We pre appreciate their support. Uh, just another great example of the loyal, the deep roots here of, of uh, ticket package holders and sponsors that Springfield Hockey has. Goes all the way back a long, long time. Appreciate their business. Yeah. And Bruce, another topic that came up this week through the Facebook chats, uh, going back to concessions. Uh, kind of a unique idea. It was just thrown out there mm -hmm. um, just to see what we thought about it was offering a discount to season ticket holders on concession pricing. Um, don't even know where to start with that because how, how, how you can even... Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of hands in the cookie jar when you yeah. talk about concessions. Just your thoughts. Well, it's a good question, certainly, and that's why we do these uh, these chats so people get a chance to sort of uh, ask questions, and and it's up for me to come up with the answers, I guess. But uh, concessions, uh, we do not own our concessions. I, I don't. I think some people still think we do control the concessions. We do not. Uh, the concessionaire has a contract with the MCCA, the same as I have a contract or I have a lease with the MCCA. The concessionaire, in this case, Centerplate uh, slash BCG, they have a 
uh, contract with the MCCA. So it's a slippery slope where we go when we get start talking concession price uh, concession prices. Uh, as you said, there's uh, uh, you know hands in the cookie jar that all have to get their piece of that. So uh, we talked to the concessionaire and they've been very flexible with us in working on special nights on the dollar hot dog games on Sundays or some new things we may look at this year as a few games where it's an all you can eat package with a ticket and a certain all you can eat price which some teams are doing and they've been pretty flexible but you know again in business everybody has the right to make a profit and uh, we have to be careful and on something we don't control to start telling other people how to run their business and by us to go to center plate and say hey, we want our season ticket holders to get a, a discount on food uh, you know, it starts cutting into their profits, and, and they have uh, a lot of investment over there as well, and some capital improvements and things they have to do. So, uh, it's something certainly could it be discussed. I don't know how far it would go. Would I be willing to discuss it with our concessionaire? Absolutely. But uh, again, we need people to know we do not control our concessions, so we can only make suggestions or ask questions, and certainly have to accept whatever their answer is. I know something we've touched upon in previous webisodes is going back to that specific room for ticket package holders on game nights, where you bring the coach up and speak pregame, something we did uh, many moons ago, right. uh, bringing that back for the season is you, something new as well. We're going to do that. Yeah. It's uh, something we have to remember to do. That's going to be on a once a month basis. We tried to do it before the building was renovated. Uh, we tried to do it uh, way back when. We were doing it every game and it was just too much. Uh, but it will be an opportunity for season ticket holders to meet with the coach or myself or if Chris or Scott or somebody from Columbus comes into town, uh, it'll be before before the doors open or just when the doors open and it'll be in the grill room. I think we've planned on it. Uh, and that'll be something unique for season ticket holders to do and have a chance to, to ask questions of the coach or myself or, like I said, somebody who might be in from Columbus uh, or from the league office for that matter. So it's something we will be planning this year once we get a little bit closer. And, again, once the schedule gets finalized, and we go back to that all the time, Dave, whatever we discuss, the schedule drives so much thing on, on putting our travel budget together and uh, starting to make our bus contracts or, excuse me, our bus trips planned out and uh, air, airplanes uh, booked and all those things spin off of the schedule and as does even planning something for season ticket holders uh, as to what night we're going to do it, what night we're going to do their other events. So we're just waiting on the schedule and then away we go. Absolutely. Damon Markowitz along with Bruce Landon. Another weekly webisode as we've taken it on the road once again this week. Manny's TV and Appliances, 1406 Elm Street in West Springfield. Great spot here. Tons of TVs. The Google TV is behind us. The new TV. You can put our website on there. You can pretty much, it's a great monitor. I wish I had that in the office there. <laughs> website looks great on that big screen. It's not bad at all. But uh, great uh, longtime sponsor here at Manny's. Appreciate them allowing us to come in here today and record this. And uh, another vintage idea uh, that came up this week uh, on Facebook and something you probably haven't thought about in quite some time was uh, the old promotion where people could take uh, a label off a soup can. Campbell Soup, the old or, Campbell Soup promotion, um, yeah. bring it up to the box office and you got a discount at the box office. Uh, hey, when was the last time you thought about that idea and is this something we can resurrect possibly? Well, we haven't done it for a number of years and again, again, I only, uh, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, but it goes back to discount, discount, discount. Yeah. Um, we have to somehow, some way, uh, get our fan base to understand that our prices are fair, our product is good, uh, and product's going to get better, uh, that our, our prices are affordable. And every time you do something like that, you're offering another discount, and all you do is start bringing down, again, your average ticket price. And we have to get, you know, we have to get our average ticket price up. So years ago, I started, I did the promotion with Campbell Soup years ago, where you bring a, you bring a can of Campbell Soup uh, to the box office and you re receive a discount. Uh, we do other discount nights uh, tied into major sponsors. Big Y, a major sponsor, good friends of ours, good good corporate partner. Uh, we'll do a couple nights with them where you show your Big Y card and get a discount. So we do offer other opportunities for people to take advantage of special pricing. But again, long term for this franchise, uh, we have to bring our average ticket price up. We have to be careful that we're not discounting too much. Uh, but yet that finding that sort of fine line uh, what works and uh, we have to sort of somehow convince our fan base that if they want this franchise to be here they have to realize that our prices are very fair and again